Worry is not such a strange feeling to any human being living on earth. But how you handle that feeling and what you do with the thought of being perplexed with life really matters. And that is why God knows what worry can do to you negatively. And he says, don't worry, I will take care of you. It's as if God is saying, don't worry, I've got this. I've got your whole life. I've got your future. I've got all your provision. You know, God cannot do anything without making provision for it. At the beginning in the Garden of Eden, before God even created man, God had made provision for every of man's need. There were food, there were places to rest. Everything that man needed to survive and have a good life was already provided before man came to be. So God does not make something or plan something without making provision for it. Your life and your future, God has already made the provision for your life. That is why he says, don't worry, I will take care of you. When I think about it, it's as if God is saying, look, it seems like you are the first person to experience this, but there are so many people that have walked this path before that I have led them through this path. They are the heroes of faith you read about, they were worried, but I was the one that led them through because they trusted me. Abraham was worried, David was worried, all the heroes that you see in the Bible, they were all worried. But one thing is that they knew how to trust God in those moments of worriness. If I were to be the one to tell you, don't worry when you are going through a particular situation or you're in the midst of something that is difficult, it would not make sense because it may not be of help to you and it may not even make things better. Instead, it might make things worse. Why? Because I do not have the power to solve your problem. I cannot take care of your problem or take care of you. I cannot give you the proper solution for what you are going through. But it is God that tells you, don't worry. Give all your worries and cares to God for he cares about you. You cannot give God all your worries and cares and then still have it. That doesn't make sense. If you've given it all to God, you should not have it anymore. That means letting go. Letting go of your worry. Throwing it to him. Letting go of your cares. Leaving it for him to handle. So by the time you let go of your worries, the only thing you can do is to have hope in him is the one now in charge of your life david said to god my time and my life is in your hands you know one thing i want to talk about when it comes to worry and god telling you don't worry is that worrying does not change the very thing you are worried about instead it weighs you down the more that is why god is saying don't worry by the time you worry instead of it making things better it makes things worse. Is it easy not to worry? No, it's not. Sometimes we might just say, let me give it a little thought. In the process of giving things a little thought, we find ourselves in the motion worrying, overthinking things. And we try to go into the realm of trying to figure things out, but then it only leaves us way down the more. And God is saying, I know what worry can do to you. That is why I'm saying, don't worry. Worry wears a person down. Encouraging word chase a person up. This is the reason Jesus was all about telling the disciples, take no thought for life. Take no thought what you would wear. Take no thought what you would drink. Take no thought what you would eat. Look at the birds of the air. They do not even sow. Neither do they reap. And God is saying, learn from the birds. I had an experience one time when I washed the birds. You know, I washed some rice grains that I had eaten. So I was about to clean the pot to do the dish. I washed them and threw it outside on the open space. And I went inside. I don't know what prompted me to move outside. And when I stepped out, I saw some bird happily picking those grains, eating, and they were joyful. They were dancing, hopping on that. And it brought me so much hope because it reminded me of this scripture. Look at the birds. They do not sow or reap, but your father provides for them. So I did not know that throwing that rice on the open space, which I don't do that often, was God providing for those birds to eat. And they were so happy and joyful and dancing. God provides for us. God does a lot of things for us. And sometimes we don't show gratitude for the things that he has already done. We are waiting for the things that he has not done. And this keeps us in a place of worrying, which does not change anything. The number two reason that God tells you don't worry is, when you experience lack and insufficiency, it is so easy to delve into worry and this is where God tells you don't worry because it is kind of like a natural response that when you lack something 
or when you feel like something that you have isn't sufficient, you want to worry. You start thinking about what do I do? What do I need to do now? At the first wedding that Jesus attended in Cana in Galilee, it happened like that, that the wine finished. And when the wine finished, the people that had the ceremony were worried and they Mary, the mother of Jesus, hated them because she knew and believed in Jesus and knew that a miracle can happen. She believed and then asked Jesus to do the miracle. God is not trying to tell you that your feeling of worry is invalid or you should deny the fact that you feel worried. Since worrying will not provide your need, since worrying will not supply your need and it will not bring the provision you need, then why worry? Even if you worry from today till tomorrow, will it add a cubit to your life? Will it make you taller? Will it make you richer? No. Instead, it makes you deteriorate. Instead of worry leading to something that is more helpful and positive, it leads to more negativity. It leads to depression and all kinds of mental problems and even physical issues. And that is why God is telling you, don't worry. Are you concerned about your health? He says, don't worry because he is the healer. God has everything you need. Is the deliverer. Are you concerned about your protection? Are you worried about your society, the environment you're living in? God says, don't worry. Trust me. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. That's where gratitude comes in. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. So God's peace will guard your heart and your mind. And that happens when you don't worry. Because God cannot make you not to worry. That is so important to note. God cannot make you not to worry. When you choose not to worry, but pray about everything you are worried about, God then takes over. And the important thing about God taking over is that when God takes over your issues, the problem and the situation is as good as if it never existed. Because in the wedding at Cana, Jesus did a miracle by turning water to wine and that wine was better than what they had before. So when you call God into the issue of your life by praying, trusting, showing gratitude for all he has done already, he is there to make your life even better than where you were. And if you live like that in Christ Jesus, You always experience God's peace. And His peace is enveloped in His presence. You knowing that He is always with you, the Emmanuel. I hope this video has been beneficial to you. And you've learned something from this video. Thank you for watching to the end. Give this video a thumbs up if you like the content of it. Subscribe to this channel and let me hear from you in the comment section. How do you handle worry? What do you do when you are worried? Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye.